And as I stated, we've been here before as a former transit police officer. I know what that system looks like, filled with graffiti and uncertainty and afraid to use the system that you deserve to have. Today we are saying we're not going backwards, we're moving forward. And we are rolling out the next phase of our operation, which is our subway safety plan. This plan is a real comprehensive plan of all of the team members that are coming together to deal with the complex problem of homelessness in our subway system that actually spills out onto our streets. I say this about crime, and I'm going to say it again about homelessness, a decade of failure that there are many rivers that feed the sea of homelessness, and we have to dam every river if we're going to address this issue. And that is what I'm going to do. The subway plan is a comprehensive civic strategy that will do more than deal with a temporary fix. You can't put a Band-Aid on a cancerous sore. That is not how you solve the problem. You must remove the cancer and start the healing process. We would do this by investing in three areas, people, places, and policies. And it begins today with the people you see around me. This is an unprecedented team of people that are coming together and damming each river that they are in control of damming to stop the flow of feeding the sea. Department of Homeless Services, Department of Health and Mental Hygiene, NYPD, MTA, transit workers, and community-based providers all under one umbrella, the governor of the state of New York. We cannot have a better person to be here to help us navigate this crisis we are facing. You stood with me in January, and I thank you for standing with us today to send the message that we are unified on having a safe, productive, affordable, reliable transit system. These are people with lived experiences that understands how we navigate and build the dams on these rivers, because people are the key to connections and change. There are people who coordinate the cross agency's response that was needed of, to turn back decades of disinvestments. Decades of disinvestments. They will be coordinating a case-by-case -case approach in helping New Yorkers. It will start with deploying the new joint response teams that will reach out to unhoused New Yorkers in our system. Their mission, to connect those in crisis with immediate contact and care. But they will do more. The initial contact will be follow-up with housing and support. And they will not stop there. Community-based outreach teams will work with NYPD officers to canvas platforms, stairwells, and entrances. We are not going to wait until someone shoves a person onto the tracks. We're being proactive, and we're going to engage New Yorkers who are unhoused or dealing with mental health crises. And our new neighborhood response units, staffed by clinicians and peers, would address high-need communities. We know where they are. There's one case where women ha has been living under a stairway in this system for months. It's just not acceptable. Not under my administration. That is, that is not dignity. That is disgusting. And that's not who we are as a city. Starting next week, New, New York will see the teams in action. You will see it right away. It will include transit hub teams, end of line, teams that will work with the MTA and N NYPD to serve high-priority areas. The train ends at the end of the line. Someone is on there with shopping carts, clothing, bags, sleeping, unkept. That's, that's not existing anymore. It's just not going to happen. They will prevent people from riding the trains back and forth all night as though we don't see them. And most importantly, they will be reaching out to connect homeless 
New Yorkers to places where they can say, stay. Going forward, we will no longer give an option to exist in this system in this way. Now it's mandatory. The system is not made to be housing. It's made to be transportation. And we have to return back to that basic philosophy. If someone is in physical, emotional distress, we can't leave them on the train for their own safety and the safety of others. That's a betrayal. We must intervene and get help. In, in addition to these teams, New Yorkers will see an increased presence of NYPD and trains and on stations to ensure that we are keeping the quality of life that we expect. Officers will enforce key elements of the MTA and New York City Transit Authority rules. They, there are rules. I mean, there are rules to write in the system. Uh, Andy Byford, the former head of the system, when he came here and did a tour, he says, y'all let people sleep on your trains? You, pe you let people live on your train? I mean, what is that about? We got so used to being dysfunctional that it became the normality. Well, I'm not a dysfunctional mayor, and I don't pretend that a problem doesn't exist. We identify, we fix problems, we get stuff done. That's what my administration is going to be about. We enforce these elements in these rules. No more smoking, no more doing drugs, no more sleeping, no more doing barbecues on the subway system, no more just doing whatever you want. No.